Hello and uh, welcome everyone. My name is Adlerge G and this is a video about camera control. In this video I want to talk about in particular uh, the locked camera, WASD camera control, edge pen and the camera drag. And I will also go into detail how to set, uh, set up your mouse because um, different camera control settings require different mouse speeds. If you like this type of content, go to gamersclass.com for just $5 a month, get your replays analyzed, join monthly live sessions with pro players, get access to our entire content library, win prizes, and more with our Supreme Dota 2 membership. This video can be found exclusively on Gamers Class. So oh, let's take a look at the very controversial locked camera. So I have heard stories about streamers on Twitch that play Dota 2, like us, and they actually have their camera entirely locked on their heroes the entire game. There is a big problem with that. I know in other MOBAs it's a very common uh, thing to do, but in Dota 2 it is very bad to do. So let me explain why. So if we lock our camera onto our hero and we walk around, a lot of stuff can be cast off screen, like wild axes or our uh, hawk. And um, we have a lot of trouble if we wanna cast up screen, for example, or down screen, because, well, we simply can't move our camera there. So in those particular scenarios, we can't really use the capabilities of our hero. So generally speaking, this is a very bad habit playing with a locked camera. I would never recommend it. But there is a scenario in uh, which it might be very, very, very useful. And this is when we block creeps. So basically, um, there's two ways of uh, locking the camera if we need it. We can either double click uh, the portrait and then um, it will basically follow our hero so we can easily block. But um, if we don't want to double click the portrait, we can also just double tap um, our hero hotkey and then um, keep it pressed. So we can basically lock the camera like that and easily block without readjusting our camera. So basically just locking uh, the camera in particular on the creep blocking process at the game start or during the early game in particular can be very, very helpful and I really recommend that you start doing it, especially if you have trouble blocking creeps. So camera lock or locking the camera onto your hero is not bad as it seems, but use it only in a blocking scenario. I have heard legends from players that there's people that actually use WASD or general four hotkeys like this to actually move their camera around. It seems like a really nice theory or a really nice thing to do, but it brings a certain set of problems. So the first problem is that we split the camera movement onto our keyboard. So suddenly we need to control the camera movement and use our spells, for example, while readjusting the camera, right? which is um, very, very distracting because we basically want to move the camera around with our mouse. So if we drag or edge pen into a certain direction that our mouse is also going there so we can instantly aim our spells. But if we do something like this, right, we need to readjust uh, the mouse as well. So this is a really, really big problem. Then another thing is that Dota 2 needs a lot of hotkeys at the moment and the longer the game uh, is played the more stuff is added the more hotkeys we need so i really don't think that any player can free up uh, four good hotkeys for this kind of uh, camera movement so even if we could play like this we don't have the hotkeys to do it so it's a nice theory but really really bad in practice so let's come to the most uh, common uh, camera control basically, which is edge pen. 
Edge pen is pretty simple and easy to use because we just need to drag our mouse to the borders and when it's at the border it will move the camera accordingly. So it's uh, a very simple concept. And what's even better, we don't need an additional hotkey to pull it off because we simply move our mouse to the border, no hotkey presses, no additional input. The problem is that um, as we said before with creep blocking that um, if we actually start blocking without locking the camera we need to do something like this and constantly drag um, the camera along or well, not drag but pan it which can be practiced but it's very hard for newer players to actually pull off so just uh, if you play with edge pen and you need a little bit help on the block, help yourself and just lock the camera onto your hero. The problem with edge pen is that it requires a lot of mouse movement itself. It's no input, but the movement itself costs time. And time is crucial in a Dota 2 game, especially during team fights. So we need to hectically move our, like our mouse all the time uh, in team fights and see what is happening everywhere and um, it can be very hard to pull off and it brings another problem because uh, we have a high mouse movement so we need a pretty high mouse speed to pull it off so that means we need a high dpi and with high dpi i'm not talking about counter-strike high so counter-strike players when they aim use like 800 uh, DPI usually a few play with 400, but it's something below a thousand DPI But um, if you play Dota 2 you want to have something between a thousand and two thousand five hundred Because uh, the higher you go um, the faster you can edge pen basically um, And we lose accuracy in the process, which is not the biggest problem in Dota 2 and because hitboxes are pretty big and um, you can just, or you have a lot of time to aim in most of the scenarios or during team fights. So accuracy is not that important, but mouse speed is. So please, if you play edge pen and you are a low sensitivity player or low DPI player, um, because you're used to it, because you played shooter before, do yourself a favor and go up with the DPI slowly but steady until you reach like um, a faster value basically. So I have seen or coached players that used edge pen with 400 DPI, uh, DPI and they basically couldn't move um, their screens and their vision field in a team fight because their mouse speed was simply too slow. I would recommend um, to settle somewhere in between 1000 DPI and um, 2000 DPI. So your accuracy is still there, but you're not too fast. The last item on the list is camera drag. Big downside of camera drag obviously is that it requires an additional hotkey or especially one more input we have to do because we need to press the key we assign to actually drag the camera. The key can be found on the hotkeys interface camera grip and there you can bind it. And I believe most pro players just bind the key on their mouse. Um, for this example, I use the middle mouse button to actually drag. We said that we are already pretty hotkey starved in Dota 2. So losing an additional hotkey for camera control uh, is very troublesome. Especially if we play micro intensive heroes and we basically need all the hotkeys we can get for unit groups for example. Another thing with camera drag is that when we keep the hotkey pressed we can only drag it so far. So at some point we reach the border of the screen and then we are locked basically again. So we cannot drag more than one screen. Which means if we want to drag multiple screens we need to do something like that. Which is very tedious over time. And it also requires a lot of time to constantly drag further and further and further in, in Coptic uh, team fights that happen on a regular basis in Dota 2, especially during late game scenarios around the Rush Pit, for example. We need to constantly drag the camera in circles and check everything, and it's just too slow. So it's very, very tricky during mid and late game scenarios. So 
Is there a scenario where camera drag is actually good and useful? Yes, 100%. That's during the landing stage. Because um, if we take a look again at the edge pen, we need to move our mouse to the edges and to do small readjustments, we could potentially just press this key, right? And the important part is that we can keep the mouse at its current position. So if we go for a last hit, for example, on a creep, we can just keep um, the camera where it is. And um, if we need to reposition it, we just drag and keep, uh, keep the mouse there. So no additional mouse movement required since we just drag from the position of our cursor. This is really, really, really beneficial for the landing stage. So camera drag has its place and its use. We still have one problem left, long distance movement. Because as we saw, all the different camera movement options we have are bad at long distance movement. So the simplest way for long distance movement is use the minimap. You will rarely see that people drag the camera uh, around like this for longer periods and you will rarely see people edge pan like this. So if you need to move your camera like more than one and a half screen, I would say, just click the minimap. It's very fast, very accurate. Let's summarize everything and um, come up with certain solutions. So locked camera is pretty bad, but super useful when you do creep blocking. So please, if you have trouble with creep blocking, try and block with a locked camera. WASD itself seems nice in theory, but we simply can't pull it off because we don't have the hotkeys and um, it's very hard with the mouse movement uh, in combination with the camera movement on an additional key. Edge pen is the simplest solution because it's very easy to execute, doesn't require a lot of input, but in a last hitting scenario, if you need to reposition your camera, you lose your current cursor position and need to readjust, uh, readjust your mouse again after you readjust your camera. This makes last hitting really hard. So during landing stage scenarios, try to use the um, camera drag in big team fights try to use the edge pen and for blocking or the landing stage generally uh, you can also try a little bit of camera lock here and there for the dpi i highly recommend um, that you use somewhat between a thousand dpi and 2000 dpi on your mouse depending if you use edge pen or camera drag if you use camera drag you can use lower dpi if you use edge pen you can use higher DPI and of course um, I'm talking about standard Windows setting. I think it's 11 for the um, mouse acceleration. I hope this information is useful to you and I really hope that the discussion a lot of players have on camera control uh, ends with this video because we can clearly see that everything about camera control that's in the game has its use in a certain scenario and can be used together to be even more uh, efficient than if you just use one single um, tool that we have been given. So my name is Adler GG and thanks for watching.